guys today I thought I would just show you a quick look at my birthday present that I got from my family and it is a lovely sewing machine now I had my little baby pink one that I used for my crafting for sort of sewing through card etc but when I started the patchwork and those of you that follow me will have seen the photos on Instagram of the patchwork cast um, I discovered that I really, really enjoyed sewing. I suppose it shouldn't have come as a surprise because obviously I like all sorts of craft and I like embroidery, etc. But I have to say I wasn't expecting to like patchwork as much as I did. So I managed to do quite a bit of the patchwork using my little baby machine. But really the tension and all of that really wasn't up to scratch and now it's getting to the bigger part of the and the blocks are kind of getting finished. Well, they're not entirely finished, but they're getting there. And I'm going to have to put it all together. It's just, I con was concerned that it wasn't really going to be strong enough. Plus, I know I'm going to want to do more. So, um, my mum started hunting around, unbeknown to me, for a sewing machine that she thought would be kind of not too advanced, but advanced enough to take me forward. And this is the one she found. And it arrived probably a month and a half, two months before my birthday. And I was very good. I didn't even peek at it, but it was very, very tempting. But I didn't. And then when it was my birthday, I got to unwrap it. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I would share it with you. So first of all, what I didn't... I knew roughly what I was getting insofar as that she checked with me that I was happy with the machine itself. But I didn't know it, for example, it would come with this gorgeous cover on it, which I think is really, really nice, and it protects it from the dust and everything, so that's really good. And all you do is literally just lift it off, and it's just brilliant. It's just uh, got all the protective bits on in the inside, so it's terrific like that. And then you can then just plug in the power at the side, and it has a little foot pedal as well, obviously, I presume. Most sewing machines, if not all, have foot pedals, so you just plug that in at the side. We've got an on off switch, and on it goes. Okay, so what we've got is all these different stitches, which is terrific, and you've got some kind of embroidery. I guess you don't, I don't know if they are embroidery, but you've got sort of pretty styled ones here, like honeycomb. That was gorgeous, I really like that. And this one here with the number 15 kind of the little crosses that was kind of like the stitch that you put over the kids the little kids dresses that we used to have with the elastic on the top and you used to embroider the little crosses on um over the elastic it was that kind of stitch it was really pretty i will i've got a little bit of fabric here so i'll show you some how it works in a minute and how it stitches because it's really nice so we've got all these different stitches so there's 20 different ones and you just pick them by using the little arrow keys here and then it changes the number, which I don't know if you can really see. And then we've got here the length of the stitch so you can take that up or down. And I think when you go to the stitch, it kind of does it as a standard for each stitch. And then we've got the width of the stitch as well, so you can adjust that. So that's really cool, so we've got all those. So then as per normal, you have your hand sort of thing for the, for the thread. Uh, needle at the side. We've got our bobbin winder up here. We've got um, our thread spool is actually a flat one, a horizontal one, although you can insert here a normal upright one, which is great. So then you thread it all the way around. It's actually got a needle threader as well, so that's really cool. So down here on the needle section, we've got obviously the foot, that comes the standard foot, and I'll show you in a minute, but there's a whole load of other feet that come with it. And we've also got a little needle threader, which is really cool and made it really easy to thread. I'm pretty good at threading the needle, but having that still was just such a... Once I worked out how to use it, it was really, really simple. Actually, to be honest, what happened was the instructions on how to use it were more complicated than the actual use of it. And in the end, I kind of just went by gut instinct, and that seemed to be better. Um, but you've got all that. And then along here on the foot plate, you've got all different um, markings on here to show the different widths so that you can sort of go to whichever width you want. But also further up here, you've got the red mark for your quarter inch, which is great for obviously for my patchwork where I want the quarter inch seam. So that's fab for that as well. So then here in the front box, we have 
a little thing that slides down and then we've got all these extras that came with it and it's got like the loads of different feet that came with it and your buttonhole one and all sorts of things that I don't really know what they're for yet. Extra needles, and lots of, oops, several little feet including a patchwork foot which again I'm not really quite sure how all these things work yet. A little, still more oh, bobbins, a couple more feet in here still. And a little stitch arm picker and then a couple more feet as well. So I think it comes with one, two, three, four, five extra feet, some needles, this I can't remember what it is, um, some bobbins, this was the extra spool for on the top, so that's for um, your little stitch and picker. This that I don't even know what that's for. Uh, your needles, and then your five extra feet, which I think is a great extra set. Pretty much anything you can think of will be covered, which is great. And I love the fact that it's got the light again. I'm not sure if you can really pick that up in this sunlight, but you've got the light down there as well, which my other machine didn't have. And then finally, at the side just here, you've got a uh, cutter for your thread, which is fabulous. And then here we've got our uh, needle. I don't know what that one is. I can't remember. Oh, up and down. Oh, down and up, right, literally, down and up. So that'll take your needle up and down. Fix, which is great, because I love that. It just literally, at the beginning or the end of your row of stitching, you can fix, and it does a couple of stitches for you to fix it in place. Reverse, and then obviously start and stop um, there. And then over to here, we've got the speed, which is kind of really your maximum speed, because obviously the speed is... is kind of done on your foot pedal so you can adjust the speed on the foot pedal by going up and down so if you only do a little bit it will go slower but if you sort of put the, the pedal to the metal as they say um, you will get it up to the maximum so I chubbed it up to the maximum to be honest so that I then have the choice and I'll control it on the foot pedal but if you were doing something really delicate and you didn't want to accidentally sort of shove your foot down to the ground and, and realise you've suddenly gone whizzing off and you didn't want to do that, you could set the speed to a lot slower. And then up here we've got the tension for the stitches and we've got the tension for our needle. See I'm still learning all of this so I'm not 100% but I think that's what it is. So I've kind of set everything at standard and that seems to be working okay for the moment so that's good. Um, Obviously, I'm only just starting to play with it. Okay, so I'm going to, first of all, I've just got a bit of pink fabric here because um, it's nice and clear to see the thread. So you're just gonna, you can lower the needle at the back here and then pick my stitch. So I'm gonna start with just a straight stitch just to show you what that would look like. And you can hear it's really quiet. Okay, and then just pull that thread at the back there where it's got that. There we go. And then I'm going to pick some more, something a bit more fancy. So let's go across. I love this one that I loved over here. Okay. And this is our little crosses. You can see it's just taking the fabric through pretty much all by itself. I'm not really doing very much at all. As you can see, my hand's not really there. There we go. <laughs> and then let's do this one. So another, just a different style. And you can see you can do it a lot quicker if I wanted. And then let's go down to this one here. Now I may not have the tension absolutely perfect on that, and I have to say I'm going slightly off here, so let's push that over. So 
also love the fact that we've got all these embroidery type stitches as well well a few embroidery type stitches it's just enough to give me something a little bit different but um, and then I got something extra that I can add to my patchwork to give it a little bit of something so that's just a few samples there so let's just pull this out and then all I need to do is just take that up to the side here and pull it through that thread and it just goes and cuts it straight away really beautifully and I'll show you the stitches up that pretty nice you can see I've probably not got that on the perfect tension for that last one but that's just playing around with it but it's a really pretty stitch I love this I say is one of my favorites that crossy one I love that and then there's the straight stitch okay so I hope you've enjoyed having a look at my machine with me and I'm sure you'll see it again in the future because I do intend to make use of it for a project that I'm going to show you using the Sizzix and this and some patchwork uh, dies. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your birthday wishes and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.